Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Ashton and back in another video. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to make my own thumbnails. Now you've often asked me, how do you make your thumbnails? Why are they so good? So yeah, in this video, I'll be teaching you how to make my thumbnails step by step with many pro tips that other YouTubers use in their thumbnails. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so the first tip I um, highly recommend is replay mod and renders. So now I'm going to be going over to replay mod first. So basically what you got to do is have replay mod enabled um, in your Lunar Cosmos. You can easily do this by pressing right shift, searching replay mod, make sure you have that enabled, oh, is it that, go back out, press play, and then you can do like all types of poses, like maybe looking up, maybe looking down, hitting forward with a sword, jumping up, jumping down, hitting a sword, running forward. There are many creative options you guys can do with the replay mod. So I highly recommend if you wanna make thumbnails, this is what I don't do sometimes, to use replay mod for your renders. Okay, so for the renders parts, I have custom made renders made by Broken Rude. His link will be in the description down below. I'm gonna be using this render um, because this is a Cinema 4D render he made to me and this is like one of my signature renders. So we're gonna, what I do is like, I like to put down my thumbnail and yeah, that's what I do for my renders. And now we're gonna move on to the replay mod renders and how I get those. Okay, boys. So for replay mod, what I like to do is like I like to keep a keyframe interval to pause my character. You simply can do this by um, pressing P, pause and play, zoom in your character, select the, the character. Once you do that, make sure to screenshot it by doing um, F2. And yeah. All right. So now we're gonna be working on the replay mod render so what i like to do is i like to go to captures i look to see this render all my replay mod thumbnails and i'm gonna go simply select the screenshot that we screenshotted so i'm gonna put that in here um this right now is 1280 by 720 base by the way make sure you do that in the project settings and make sure it's on those 12 8 by 720 so yeah we're gonna select select my character and maybe resize it to the reasonable height of my thumbnail so we'll do that. Once we do that, we'll click this check mark. And well, this is a very important tool. Um, and most YouTubers don't tell you to do this. So basically, this tool right here selects the character and deselects the background. So what I like to do is I like to start from the legs and then go all the way up. You can also even zoom in too if you want and see if it's not perfect. If it's not perfect, you simply do Control Z. And you can also do whatever you feel like. So what I like to do is like, I like to work around it. And I like to um, select my whole character. This does this is time consuming. So give me a few minutes and I'll be right back. All right, boys. So as you can see, I'm right now wrapping right around my character. And I'm about to finish up. So let's make sure we go to the corresponding edge of here. And then once you this the whole entire subject you want selected is selected by all the dotted points. Make sure to do make selection 0.1 pixels. Press OK. Control C. Control V. And now you don't need this layer, so you can delete that. So now let's move on to the renders. Okay, boys. So now I'm gonna be working on both renders. I'm gonna be doing a side by side comparison. Okay. So for the effects. Um, this right now looks really casual, so we're going to do FX, drop shadow, you can copy this down, um, 72, 11, 24, 40, 0, multiply, gradient overlay, which makes a very good color tint, and an inner glow, which gives like an inner glow, you know what I'm saying? And then that will, that's what the render will look like. So now for this one, what you're going to do is you're going to be doing drop shadow, once again, gradient overlay, you can copy all the um options and inner glow and yeah boys that's what it should look like okay so next thing i like to do is the background so sorry for the, the quietness noise i'm not recording at 1 a.m in the morning and my dad's asleep so i don't want to wake him up so yeah all right boys the next thing we're going to work on is the background so what we're going to do is we're going to select maybe a background from a custom sky that i screenshotted so we're going to place it in want to make sure it covers the whole entire radius of this so we're going to make it as realistic as possible you can apply to as much effects as you want to drop shadow great overlay and inner glow as it would saturate its effect you also want to make sure that it's on the bottom of this the background the next thing i want to talk about is a thumbnail overlay okay so this is the most challenging thing in my opinion so for this you want to copy these settings for drop shadow 
these settings for outer glow, these settings for inner glow, and these settings for inner shadow. Once you have that, it'll look like this. You wanna make sure it's over this layer. Also, boys, you guys wanna know how I keep my background so clean. So what I do is I do filter, blur, Gaussian blur, around eight pixels. Um, you can do that. If not, if you don't like that, what I like to do is filter, blur, radial blur, and give it 10 best, eight to 10, and then it should look like this. For this one, I'm gonna be using a render, and I'm gonna be putting the render right over here. If I enlarge your render, I'm gonna do scale, and I'm gonna make sure you make it as big as possible. So I'm gonna make sure it goes all the way out, like right here. So now that I have the render position, we're gonna make the logo saying how to thumbnail. So what I like to do is I like to use the luckiest guy text, like a big description saying how to. So now for the text, what I, I do like to do is for this one, I feel like we should make it white. So we are going to select that, make it white. I'll select this and make it white. Next thing I like to do is I like to add the special effects. Um, drop shadow, create the overlay, inner glow. I'll do that to this one. And I also like to add a stroke. So like, um, outside we can make it a five. On the outside, and that looks pretty good. So we're gonna do that. Give it a stroke ten. On the outside. And now we are gonna insert a thumbnail picture. Hey yeah, boys, right now I'm finishing up a thumbnail. I am using right now the proper mechanic I taught you. Basically, you just gotta select this. We're gonna add the mouse in. Um, we're now about to rotate it. And I'm gonna make and enlarge it. Maybe put it right here, cause it looks much it looks pretty attractive. Now that we have that done, let's add the effects. All right, boys, so this is a thumbnail I just created um, with all the effects I told you. Once again, you gotta reselect, deselect this, um, make some adjustments. You gotta make sure you apply all the correct effects to it. And yeah, so we're gonna export this thumbnail. Um, And we are going to move on. Alright boys, the last part of this video is the thumbnail we created. So we're just going to enter it in. And we are going to put that here. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications. And stay active for more Osborne's content. And yeah boys, I'm sorry about the lack of effort. It's really late at night right now. It's a last minute video. And I further apologize. So yeah boys, can't wait to see you until the next video. Peace.